What's up guys, this is Paul here from Gamma Mori. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your uh, RAM memory in a late edition 2011 uh, MacBook Pro computer. As you can see right now I have 8GB of 1333 MHz DDR3 here. And at the time when I purchased the, uh, the computer, this was the most uh, available, so I have two 4GB modules. Now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this piece of paper and I'm going to mark where the screws are with these circles. So what I'm going to do is once I take the screws out one by one, I'm going to put them into the circle. So this way when I'm going to put the screws back, I know where exactly each screw belongs since they're all different sizes and I don't want to be figuring it out, uh, you know, which one goes where. So as you can see, they're all different sizes. And once the screws are out, you can just pry the back off by pulling on it. It almost feels like uh, it's stuck on a little bit, but uh, I guess, you know, it just haven't been removed until now. So that's why it feels like this. So once you remove it, uh, you can look inside, and uh, right away we can see the uh, the RAM right here in the middle. That's what we're going to play with. So what we're going to do is we're going to unclick these little flaps here, and then you can grab the RAM from the side and just yank on it, and it pulls right out. And uh, this is what we're going to do with the uh, the bottom RAM as well. I'm going to open it up on the two sides. It pops up, and then you can grab it on two sides and just pull it right out. Now here's the uh, the actual RAM that I'm going to replace it with. This is the Corsair Vengeance. It's a 16 gigabyte DDR3, and as you can see, it's 1600 megahertz instead of the 1333, which is in there. So it's a little faster, and it's two 8 gigabyte modules. As you can see from the back, you can see the actual units. On the back here, you can see the uh, the model number. I'm going to show it to you just in case uh, you wonder which one it is. And let's take this uh, baby out of the box, and uh, here's the uh, the model number again so you can take it down in case you want to replace yours as well so you know which one it is all right so let's put this in here so what i'm going to do is uh first i'm going to take this out of the uh, the case of course you don't want to put it in there with the case it's probably not going to be working very well that way so we're going to do one at a time and what you're going to do is you're going to want to hold it so that the uh, the barcode's facing you and once you push it into that socket you can just push on it and it clicks down and then you can do the same thing with the second one you can just put it in there and uh, click it down and it locks in so that's it that's is that is all to it what we're going to do is put the uh, the top back on and uh, you just, just push it down on it and just uh, put the screws right back in and now it's not going to be so hard to uh, hunt for screws you're going to be just grabbing the screws where they belong so it's going to be a much faster process so once the screws are in let's turn this uh, unit around and let's see what we did here open it up turn it on and see if it works at all okay so once it turns on you want to go onto the other uh, little apple icon on the top click about this smack and as you can see right away you can see that we do have 16 gigs available for us and it's 1600 megahertz and let's just check it in the memory section and you can see voila it worked great we didn't screw it up too much all right so we have two gigabytes uh, rams here and that is all to it thank you for watching guys